Hi guys, I'm James McIntosh and today I'm joined with new sign-in Jake Scrimshaw. Jake, welcome to the club. How does it feel to have joined? Thank you. That's been a warm welcome. And yeah, it's really nice to get it done. And over the line, I'm looking forward to getting going. Well, we were speaking a bit off air there about how you played for Bournemouth for a bit and actually how I played with FIFA with you, ironically. But can you just give us a bit of a rundown of your career? Uh, yeah, so I joined Bournemouth when I was about 14, 15. I was there for eight years. Um, I went on loan quite a few times, so I went on loan to Paul Town when I was a scholar and then I went on loan to Eastleigh went on loan to Warsaw, Newport County, Scumport, uh, and then I moved to um, Yeovil uh, last pre-season uh, from Bournemouth. They uh, bought me out my contract there, and then I left Yeovil due to uh, personal issues and some other stuff, and then ended up doing the, the back end of last season at Eastleigh. Oh no, but you mentioned Paul there, and I think you actually experienced quite a famous moment there, and it was actually against Farborough in the last minute of the game. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about here, because I think you got a last minute goal against them, but you suffered a blow to the head, creating quite an iconic photo. So can you just tell the fans a bit about what happened there? Uh, yeah, so it was the last minute against Farborough, and the goal put us into the playoffs. And, yeah, come on as a sub, scored in the last minute, took a, got headbutted as I headed the ball in. And then, yeah, left me with a scar, but we got into the playoffs from it. Well, hopefully there'll be a couple more goals like that. Obviously, without the blood and everything. But I think another one of your famous goals was actually... I think it was for Scumthorpe I was watching. But I think it was your first goal, and you scored like an overhead kick. And it was in front of a crowd. I don't know how many exactly, but I looked around 7,000, 8,000, around that margin. But can you just tell us a bit about that goal? Uh, yeah, so that was uh, my debut for Scumthorpe. Uh, we were playing Sutton... Uh, towards the start of the season so yeah just the uh, first ever time like in I never trained for and I ended up starting and then yeah scored to make it 1-0 but we ended up drawing one off. Well, it must have been a surreal moment scoring in such a big crowd. And I think you've actually played with quite a few big teams at that level as well. So you mentioned Scunthorpe, obviously. But you also played in the National League a couple seasons ago as well. So despite being quite a young age, do you think you're quite an experienced player, quite a mature player for this level? Uh, I'd say I've got quite a lot of experience from my loans and stuff, yeah. So, obviously, you've got the experience as well, and you'll be joining quite an attacking arsenal here at Gospel. So we've got players like Dan Wooden, Alex Barsett, players I'm sure you've heard of. So are you quite looking forward to linking up with these players? Yeah, obviously, really looking forward to linking up with the whole team. I've seen the way they play, and I think they play really good football, and I'm looking forward to getting going. And then also, what do you think you can add to this attacking lineup? So, what will you bring extra to this team? Well, I've always bring, always work my hardest. Like, I always run for the team. Uh, I like to run in behind, stretch defence. Like to link up play, and then hopefully add goals as well. So, hopefully, just a little bit of everything. Well, you'll be tested tomorrow in your game against Salisbury. Is this one all the boys are quite looking forward to tomorrow, despite being quite a hard challenge, perhaps, and maybe even an early league decider? Yeah, obviously, I think everyone's looking forward to the game, and obviously they only play, the boys only played in last week, obviously I weren't there for that one. So, I think it should be a good game. And finally, what do you actually want to achieve at Gosport, both for yourself and for the team? Well, Jake, hopefully you will achieve all of that, and I'm looking forward to seeing you. Hopefully you'll get some goals as well, and it'd be nice if you get a goal on Salisbury. The final words, really, up the borough. It's kind of like our little initiation of joining the club. Up the borough. <laughs> 
Well, great to have you on board. And final words up the borough.